Welcome back to New Rockstars. I'm Eric Voss. This is Philip Molina. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we're re-meeting you every time because you could be a new watcher and welcome if you are. Philip's got one big size question that he's gonna answer Sorry, spin for us. Me. So Philip, this question was submitted by <laughs> at baby wants a Jeep. How do <laughs> how do Wolverine's that baby needs a Jeep? How do Wolverine's claws work when his wrists are bent? So imagine that. Just bent wrists. Bent wrists, bent but wrists. the claws go up into your wrists, so uh, into your arm. No, you get out of my question. It's okay. Like, at first it's kind of like, why is this a problem? <laughs> he like, he can bend his wrists, right? Right. No, <clears throat> this is so much more complicated. I created a very accurate representation. You created? Yeah. All by yourself? I stay up all, <laughs> stay up all night doing this. Lexi helped. Okay, yes, uh, Lexi okay. helped. It, Wolverine, he goes like, like you come, come. They come retract. Yeah, come at me. Mm, using metal because I'm Magneto. Oh, f are you f <laughs> <laughs> I ruined it. No, come okay, at me. Okay, so I'm coming idiot. at you. Yeah, and he's like, ah, ah. Oh my right. God, you got real close. Yeah, <laughs> try it again. I kind of don't want to. I'm kind of afraid to. So that's like Wolverine's story. Now you guys know what Wolverine's like. Here's the, the issue Does he have to be careful about his wrist? Yes. He actually always has to, when they draw him in the comics, he has to be coming at someone with his wrist perfectly straight and his hand straight. So flesh with his, you can't it. do one of these. It has to go straight. He okay. can't be coming like with a with a punch or a hook. And it gets really complicated actually as to how it works. All right, so the reason is if his claws are stored in his forearm, which it is in various forms of like x-rays that they've released and also in oh, the sure. movies and stuff. Yeah. They they can show, it actually, there's different versions where it sometimes is on top of his other bones. Sometimes it's between them, his ulna oh. and his radius. And then it pushes through the metacarsals and weirdly moves the bones out of the way so they can shoot out of roughly where the knuckles are. So here's the issue. And he starts to extend his claws, but his wrist is bent, then the claws can't bend too, so they would shoot out of the wrong part. So if oh. I were to bend this, see now where these claws are theoretically coming out of is out of my wrist. Yeah, up here. Yeah, instead of out of where my knuckles are. Or if I went this way, I can't do it because I'll actually have to pierce my own hand. Yeah, it'll come through oh, your crap. palm. And they actually show this. There's a time, there's two times that are interesting. One, Wolverine got really drunk once on <laughs> Nowhere because he had like basically space liquor and it actually affected him, which it almost never does because of his healing powers. And so he gets so drunk that he forgets to straighten his hand and it shoots out of his palm, all, all three claws. And he's like, whoops. And he looks like really stupid. Another time in the uh, Age of Apocalypse story, <laughs> um, I don't know, you were trying to catch a fish is what I thought. <laughs> for no reason trying to catch a fish. <laughs> a grizzly bear catching a salmon. Yeah. Uh, he, gets his, um, he gets his hand, well, I think it's like melted off by Cyclops, not Triclops. <laughs> and, he, and he has no hand and so he's fighting and people uh -huh. are like, oh, so he doesn't have claws. And I'm like, no, you stupid idiot. I still have the claws in the forearm and he shoots the claws out of just the stump. Ugh. Um, but it works. Pretty it cool though. Guy. Yeah, it's very cool. Cool, 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 no down, no down, no down. But here's what's so confusing about like the physics of all this though, so, okay? If he were to bend his wrist later, also a problem. I'm pushing the claws all the way through, uh -huh. right? That's like as far out as they go. So now they've left his forearm and they're theoretically just in his hands now. Now come at me. Okay. Uh, uh, wait, no, don't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> you you have sharp pencils. Why don't no, you just I, use I noodles? On, on use list. noodles. Al dente is fine. Trust me. I trust you. Uh, you don't get oh. injured. <laughs> you just injured me. You poked me through my shirt. You don't get injured. Don't you dare get injured. I don't want to break it, but. <laughs> you don't, don't want to break this. Well, yeah, I don't have another sharpener. So if it goes up and he goes, ah, and he, all the claws are all the way out to the knuckles, they would snap off when he goes to actually try to pierce okay, someone. I hear you. Because there's, there's no, the leverage is all the way on the outside and they're barely hanging on by these little baby nubs here, right? Okay, yes. So then this means, okay, his claws must be a lot longer then, right? Mm -hmm. They still have a significant portion of the claw when it's out. Uh, uh, uh huh. <laughs> what are you trying to do? You're free. Okay, so there are a lot longer claws, you say, Eric. Oh, sh. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this? <laughs> Security. Take her away. I can't watch you do no, this. I'm gonna do it. Oh my god. 
So you're like, oh, what the what claws are a lot longer and covered in saliva. So then this is how they stay in, right? That does make sense for when you push them out. For it's like, like now come at me. No. <laughs> come at me. I, I'm, I'm coming at you. Okay, so if it goes, unbreakable. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> if my forearm is much larger, uh, the amount of claws that go back here is a lot longer, it can push out and it's still strong. So if I, if you, if you came at me, uh -huh. it wouldn't break. I have all this power. But the problem is when I reverse uh, extend, uh -huh. retract, retract, and it go back, it literally would oh, go past bend the your elbow. elbow. Yeah. So he would have to walk around <laughs> like you do sometimes when you're uncomfortable. Or like the, the woman who never moves her arms in Seinfeld? Yeah, exactly. So he wouldn't be able to bend his arms for that to work. So immediately this character is like so deeply flawed, his claws cannot work. Hey guys, Eric Voss once again here in the Blue Dungeon present day. But before we continue with this, I want to thank Bang Energy for sponsoring this video. Oh, Lord almighty. Every can of Bang is 16 ounces. It contains 300 milligrams of caffeine. It is sugar-free and it has zero calories. Yet it tastes so good with over 20 different flavors to choose from. One of those great flavors is Sour Heads. It's not too sour. It has that like nice sweet kick that uh, a nice sour candy has without the mm part of it. But unlike sour candy, zero calories in this. Yeah, I can get I can get down with this. Check out Bang on Instagram. You can get 25% off your order at bangenergy.com when you use the code NEWROCKSTARS25. There you can buy cans of Bang Energy, including their sweet tea, keto coffee flavors. You can also get clothing, fitness supplements, all kinds of stuff to be your best Bang self. Thanks again to Bang Energy for sponsoring this video. Get 25% off at bangenergy.com using the code NEWROCKSTARS25. I have an answer as to how his claws actually have to work. It's like okay. the only way that this makes sense. One is, yes, they do have to be a little longer than what he sticks out there. Okay. Okay, it's not fully extended. There is still amounts left up into his forearm, mm -hmm. but it's a very precise amount that's actually the length of his forearm because his claws are part of his mutant abilities and not what was given to him with the adamantium. But they were bone claws. They're bone claws. Then they would naturally just kind of be almost a replicant of his ulnar's radius. So they're just the right length where they're exactly the length of his forearm. And then they extend a few inches out. Mm. But any artist that overextends them and shows, which they do all the time, they show these like multi-foot long arms yeah, that they're he could be like, walking uh, on. Yeah, katanas he's yeah, walking around with. They're that. compensating for something. Because, mm. <laughs> designs. Yeah, exactly. Because he doesn't even need them to be, it's unrealistic, they're swords at that point. He basically just wants them to be about finger length knives for, or even like maybe six inches out and like four inches still inside, which is roughly the, you know, a 10, a uh, size 10 shoe means you have a 10 inch forearm. Do you know that your foot is the size of your forearm? Hold on. <laughs> Look, <clears throat> now people know I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> Damn it. You've been trying to hide that for years. Yeah. <laughs> we got them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on out everybody. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. We're doing a story on adults. You show too much leg. <laughs> Can you do it? I'm about to rip something. So what are we doing? <laughs> he's got claws that are exactly the size of his forearm. A significant portion of it still stays inside his forearm. It does not stick out that far. Everyone else is just exaggerating. This is a really key part. Look at his costume design. Look at the gloves and look at the little metal sheaths that they've included. Little metal right. sheaths. Oh, the sheaths that go right. yeah, okay. over each blade. They're actually directly to address the come at me problem where they snap off. They hold them in place. But, and here's my proposition he must internally have his own bone version of those sheaths in there that's also anchoring them so that the leverage problem doesn't happen where they just fall out. Wolverine's and, got bone sheaths. Yes. And if you look in a very classic design, x-ray design, it looks like they kind of attempted to squeeze that in really quick. They put these little circles there and they didn't really like acknowledge them, but that has to be it. So he has little bone holes in there that hold the claws in place and then partially it's up there and it's exactly the length of his forearm. It's the only thing that makes sense. I love it. Now, what if they retract like lightsaber toys where they, they fold and bop, then bop, fold bop. and then fold? Yeah. Could like, they do that? Like a human penis. So really you only need this much space in, in here that it could work. Yeah, so they don't. <laughs> Should I not, not have said that? <laughs> yeah, that's not how it works. <laughs> You're right, I don't see Fine, holes. Eric, you <laughs> Sorry, freaking stay up all night. Don't throw the pencils. <laughs> <sighs> 
Damn it, now they know I need to wear shorts. <laughs> it's all been just trying to get you to show your legs. There's your, your bite-sized question, motherfucker. <laughs> well, thank you to everyone who submitted questions. Continue to tweet us at New Rockstars using the hashtag the big question for all your nerdy questions that you want answered in horrifyingly accurate scientific terms. Be sure to find our audio version at The Big Question wherever you get your podcast, so you can listen to audio versions of this while you're driving or working out or whatever your New Year's resolution is. And you can follow us on Twitter <laughs> at EA Voss, at Philip Molina. Anything else that we should add? Follow New Rockstars. Follow New Rockstars on social media at New Rockstars. Happy New Year! Yeah. <laughs>